In this video, we're going to build a really simple plugin with no tools at all. So I've actually had this happen to me. I was on vacation, I didn't have my computer with me, and I had a customer that called me and said, we've got an issue with our website, we need to put a notification on the website. I didn't have my computer, which is very rare whenever I go on vacation that I don't have my computer with me. But I didn't have my computer and all my tools and all that stuff, so I had to build a plugin for their WordPress website without any tools at all. And I thought this is really good for me to make a video about because there's a lot of people that will be in the same situation or you're just starting out and don't have tools and all the stuff that you need, right? You got a WordPress website, whether it's a customer site or your own site, and you need to do something, but you don't have all the tools to do it, whatever that case is. So in this video, we're gonna build a quick, simple plugin with no tools at all and show you guys how to do it. Let's say we want to put a notification at the top of the website for one of our customers or our, our own website. Let's say there was a tornado, hopefully not, but let's say there was a tornado and it took out power lines and the, the company's down and they don't want anyone to call them or order because they're not gonna be able to ship out, right? So we need to be able to put a notification at the top of the website that says, you know, we um, are closed for business and we will open back on blah, blah, blah date, right? So that's the plugin we're gonna make and we're gonna make it quick and easy and simple. But this plugin, you can expand on it and do almost anything you want with building it without any tools at all. Here on the ideapro.io website that we do testing and videos and stuff with, it's a very basic website. It's just the default, I think, I'm not sure what theme we actually have on here. Let's look at appearance. Yeah, it's the 2021 default theme that we have here. So we have really nothing at, on the website. It's just we installed WordPress and we're ready to go. So how do we start with building the plugin? So if you're on a Mac, you can use text edit. If you're on Windows, you can use um, whatever text editor that you choose to use. And, but we're doing it on a Mac today, so we're gonna use text edit. We're going to open text edit. Okay. And we're gonna do a new document. All right, we'll bring that in here so you guys can see it. Now, so on a Mac, um, we, we wanna change the text editor to plain text. And so in text edit on the Mac, we're gonna do shift command T and you can go up to the menu and hit format and choose plain text. So we wanna make sure we change it to plain text because we don't want anything in the background uh, formatting text and all that kind of stuff. We wanna make sure it's very plain text. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to open a PHP bracket and I'm going to make this text bigger so we can see it, zoom in a little bit on that. Okay, so we've opened a PHP command and now we're gonna close that PHP. And then right here at the top, we're gonna to do a slash star star and then go down the next line and hit star and we can do a space and say plugin name and this is going to be site notification, notification, okay? Then we're gonna do a star slash slash. Oops, I didn't mean that. Let's do two stars and a slash. That way kind of breaks it up and we can see what's going on here. All right, so now we're gonna add, now this is a simple plugin. I don't recommend doing it this way. I just wanna show you guys how easy it is to create a plugin without any tools, but you can go into you know, creating your own plugin that does all kinds of stuff without any tools, all right? So we're gonna create a function and this function is going to be um, site notification idea pro io, right? And we want to name that function unique to anything else 
in the website. So always add something in there to make it, you don't wanna just say site underscore notification because there might be another plugin using that function. So here we're just gonna say echo, sorry, whoops. Sorry, we are closed for business until let's say December 25th, no, let's say 26th, after, day after Christmas, um, 2065. All right, so that's just a, that's just, the echo is just printing it out to the page. All right, and so then we're gonna add an action here. And this add action is going to actually push it to the header of the website. So we're gonna say WP underscore head. And then we're gonna, this next variable here is going to be our function name here as the callback. So we're gonna copy that, we're gonna paste it down there. Okay, so now the action is going to put that notification in the header of the website. So we're gonna save this and we're going to go to the desktop of our site here. And then we're going to name this my, let's do site notification idea pro IO. That's what we're gonna name it. It's gonna be a dot PHP but first we need to create a folder. And that folder is going to be site underscore notification idea pro IO. So it's gonna be the same name as the file inside of it. So we're gonna create that folder. So now we're inside of this folder and we're gonna name it site notification idea pro IO dot PHP. And we're gonna save that. All right. So now we have on our desktop, we have this folder. Let me bring this in right here. Okay, so here's our folder here. Let's do a list. There we go. So we have site notification idiapro.io. So now all we have to do is right click. We're gonna come down here to compress. And now it's created a site notification idiapro.io zip folder, zip file. Okay, so now in ideapro.io WordPress admin, we're gonna come into plugins and we're gonna add a new plugin and we're gonna upload plugin. So we're gonna choose the file, we're gonna go desktop and we're gonna choose that zip file that we just created. And we're gonna say open, install now. And it's gonna say install plugin and it's gonna give you that information and we're gonna activate plugin. All right, so now our plugin is activated and we can go here and we can refresh the page. And right here at the top, it says, sorry, we are closed for business until December 26, 2065. So again, that's a really simple plugin that we created with no tools at all, other than what comes with the computer, a text editor and all computers have some version of a text editor, but make sure you're doing it in plain text, okay? So now if we need to update that plugin, depending on the setup of your server, your website, you could come in here and do a, um, you could edit that plugin. So if you go to plugin editor, it says heads up, I understand. So then if we come up here and choose site notification, hit select. So now here we can come in and now we have a, an online editor that we can edit this plugin and do anything that we, we need to in here. If you can't make changes to this, you have to go back to plugins and deactivate and then delete the plugin come back to your text editor, make the changes that you need, and then upload that new version of that plugin. But you gotta delete the old one first. Um, that's usually the way I do it, is I delete it, come back, make changes, and, and then update it. That way I can get it off the site, get it deactivated if, if something went wrong. But that's how you do it. If you 
you know, wanted to put a notification up here. Now you can add the styles and, you know, all that kind of stuff, inline styles if you need to, if it's very, very quick. And, um, but this is just a simple plugin that you can create on the fly with no tools at all. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks.